Fida says, can you discuss on the purity of small creatures like ants, roaches, house lizards, dead or alive, and also is their feces pure? The scholars say that insects that has no running blood are negligible, such as ants, flies, mosquitoes, scorpions, roaches. So these insects and their feces are negligible and pure. When an insect has running blood, they call it a nafsu sa'ila, such as a lizard. Then this lizard or a mouse is najis, and the blood of it is najis, and its feces is najis as well. However, the most authentic opinion is, and this is the school of Abu Hanifa, and the selection and choice of Sheikh, Sheikh Ibn Athaymi, that negligible amount of impurity is pardoned, which means that if we see feces of lizards or rats that are dried, these are najis, but we can simply swipe them away. If they're wet, we have to wash the area. So why do we neglect it when it's dry? Because when the Prophet ﷺ saw a cat and gave that cat some water, the companions were amazed. So the Prophet explained to them ﷺ, that this cat is from among those that dwell upon you, males and females. What is the meaning of dwell? Meaning that our contact with them is frequent and it's too difficult to avoid such contact, if not impossible. So, Najis animals, due to being among those who dwell upon us, we can pardon a lot of the Najasa that may be caused by that. Dogs are an exception because this was clearly stated that their najasa is highly impure and needs to be washed seven times and once with soil. But when you come to donkeys, for example, we know that the dung of donkeys is, is rich, najis, and we're not allowed to eat it. And it's the Prophet described as being impure. However, the saliva and the sweat of donkeys due to the fact that we use them so often are exempted, they are forgiven. Likewise with the feces of rats and lizards and Allah knows best.